Well, I apologize. I was supposed to get a bunch of these freestyle tracks out to you guys. Like, yesterday was the due date, and I failed. I am so far away. From even like giving you guys a product. All of these songs behind here still need a lot of work done, and we're still going through the list of what do we want to keep and what not. I'd like to give a huge shout out to the peeps in Wakanda. Some of my podcast, man. Yeah, this podcast really isn't anything spectacular. It's just here to document. It's here to motivate me. I, I, I like being alive, even if no one pays attention to it. It allows me to come out of the shell. I don't know if I could talk like this subconsciously knowing that uh, I'm just recording it privately for myself probably couldn't get in the same mindset but at the moment in the last week and a half or so that we've been in the studio our sound pool has reached an estimated two oh man 250 300 beats <laughs> so that 50 tracks each album that's I mean we almost got our 10. That we wanted by the end of the year, and so we got like twelve, twelve templates made of forty-eight little boxes in each template. We have like twelve or fourteen of those. We've been busy the past. We, week and a half and we'll be doing this for the next oh, about two and a half weeks so I'll be doing this for a full month coming in here every other day who knows might become a regular thing but uh, like it used to be used to be every day when I would come in the studio and entertain y'all practice the freestyle practice you know all of this equipment it's not much I got what I need here we upgraded this year to this nice piano I got a bunch of stuff sitting out there that need to be dragged in here or this moved out there I really like this close area so it's too bad that it's not bigger you know but this is what I have at the moment in a five bedroom house I only occupy two rooms and the cats occupy the rest backyard, front yard I appreciate Again, you, you'll listen and supporting this CWSPOD Love Justin Perry brand and the outrageous 300 album goal that I told myself if I don't at least get 100 albums at the end of all of this. I truly suck. We'd only hit a third 
of the goal, but at this moment, I am terrible. Because we're, even though we released a lot of albums over the years of different stuff, the CJ series brand, we've been working at it, I don't know, for three years now. The goal was 10 years max. What was it, 2027? We were supposed to have all. Well, if my back didn't hurt so much, well, maybe so. But it's all good, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to entertain you with my broken ass back. You can chill in Wakanda, paltalk.com, chat room, paltalk.com, chat. I sit in here also when I go live. I am not transferring their conversations at any point to anywhere i look at the screen and it helps me you know just like going live going live it, it helps me uh having chat on in front of me it helps me come out of the boring ass shell that god made for me so i again i apologize for not getting any music out to you guys Failed that deadline, but we are in this current cycle of beat production, and we're doing good so far. So I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to be like I can't come into the studio today. Just two doors down is my room. Oh, sorry, I can't get myself out of bed. It's probably good for me. I get myself out of bed. It is. Man. It's helping my back. Uh, Helping me lose weight, so all this weight isn't pushing down, compressing my spine even more. So, like I was in the shower this morning, and I'm like, you know, if I could stick this out, I mean, yeah, I hurt. I'm in bad shape. I don't need any of y'all's validation. I am truly in a rough spot. Not looking for like, oh yeah, you. I'm not looking for anyone's sympathy. I'm not looking for solutions. There is none. I'm in a horrible spot, and I am living it. I have the opportunity to live out my childhood dream, and therefore I am because <laughs> there's really nothing for a guy with a super bad back. There is no room for someone who struggles as much as I do just to get out of bed. I got sciatica as we speak right now, but the curse is I look awesomely fine. I must be lying to all of you since you can't see my pain. Eh. My girl be judging me off of my face. Well, she's not my girl anymore. She says, I see the look on your face. I'm like, what look? Right? I'm, I'm in my own battle of shit. Yesterday, she was like, I see the look on your face when you went upstairs. You're trying to fight. Like, I'm not even in that mindset. I'm not trying to fight. I'm just trying to get through to the next 10 minutes and I'm sorry if my face wasn't happy and, and you, you took you, you made yourself feel some type of way from it and then like today she was like you're standoffish I'm like so I was like two days in a row I'm gonna go up, go up there and sit and talk with her at any moment I tried to talk before rumors get start that I'm um I'm not you know that um and I got emotional issues. I don't. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. I, I, I'm like dead. I'm dead. I'm taking these pills the way I'm supposed to. I'm dead. There's nothing inside. It's, it's why it's misleading. That's why I tell her, but she don't listen. Don't look at my face. Just ask me. But no, nah, it's... uh. Uh, so I just like, well, I'm looking for an apology. Not not a sincere apology. I didn't get nothing but victim in return. Like, damn, I'm so tired of this. You know, I'm just trying to 
get from my bed to here and do this stupid ass goal and then we got people who want drama out of me my family out of state wants to pretend I have a drug issue with obviously I'm showing no signs of it it's like we can't even talk without them looking at me like I'm a pill popper and like I can't even talk to anyone here because they're judging me by my face but they don't want to be judged themselves so but I'm not doing anything I'm not doing anything wrong man. that's the thing you can't bring me down Obi I'm lower than all of you have ever been so trust me I'm glad I could make your day a better day by giving you something to fight for even if it's just in your head and that's okay with me cause I just confront it and walk away Welcome to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. 2020 is one hell of a year. And I, I think it's my year to succeed. Every year is my year. I believe it. There's not a bad day. I may experience painful days. But my days have plenty of hope in here. If I can get myself in here, I worry about nothing. I took all the stresses out. I'm working my hardest through this pain that y'all couldn't deal with. I'm just saying, because it's constant. And I've seen some of y'all when you have a little owie or a bent up ankle how traumatic it is but my shit never stops anyways so this year is going to be another great year for creative with studios Despite all of my personal problems, I ain't let them affect me. <coughs> like they always affect you, man. Shit still gets done. Whether I want to or not. Can you see that on my face? Can you see that on my face, man? How bad I want this. How bad I want people just to stop ragging on me. Can you see that on my face? How much I'm lying to all of you that I'm just pulling all of y'all legs and, and faking this pain journey. It's amazing, right? How I just. <laughs> I'm a genius. I mean, you can see that on my face, too, right? I'm pretty good. I got many hours of practice. To become the person you want me to be. A junkie? You want me to be a junkie. You want me to be a failure. You want me to sell this beautiful piano, which helps me be happy. The same people who love me. I will do anything for you. Right, right. Then let, let's continue on your conversation about selling everything in here so I could become off of these pain meds. Maybe it is the drug sex. Wait, the drugs rock and roll. I think no one in my family wants to touch music. I gave it such a bad name. gave it my name, gave it my touch, 
I gave it my flavor, and I gave the industry a path to follow. I gave inspiration. I give you healing powers all through this beautiful podcast. Beautiful. I don't care what you say. I'm beautiful. You can keep on projecting what you think about yourself towards me. Uh, but all I hear is what you think and how screwed up your mind is of where's all the positivity at? Is this really how you think about yourself and other people? Is this how you treat ex-friends? Is this really how you deal with problems? Is it really? Maybe I'm better off just going through life alone than having these loved individuals build up a wall because they watch Trump too much and now they're just trying to do what's divorce in 2020 popular so you know since I'm married to someone who loves to do popular things we're getting a divorce this year ladies and gentlemen drama yeah Stay out there. But my shit scares all of you. My voice terrorizes. I can see it. Every time I walk upstairs. According to them. Clouds come over. Well I just. Getting some grapes or something. I wish I could just find someone like myself, you know? I would turn gay. And. Uh, no, I wouldn't. But, it, I mean, if I could duplicate myself, hell yeah, yo, I would definitely turn gay. I would, I would fuck myself way more than any of y'all fuck yourselves up. <clears throat> you know? You can't even think like that. But if I had a clone of myself, definitely I'd be like, "Hey, let's go to my bedroom. Let me let me try out your giant dick. You've been talking. No, I'm kidding. Kid, no, no homo. If I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about myself. That's how good I feel. I taste. I look. I smell. I am. I ain't got a big head." I try to say I'm better than you. I'm just here doing my thing, loving what I do. I'm hearing your suggestions as opinions, and life goes on. Hopefully, you don't get butt hurt when I decide to listen to myself and not let you think for me. You know, if that makes me an asshole, I'm a raging dickhead. Terrible, man. Anyway. Uh, today I was about to call off work. I was like, man, I can't. I can't, yo. Eat to build up his ego. Kanye West doesn't have anything to offer the American people besides his gayness skills. I, I don't listen to him, man. Like, I'm glad he got to the point that he was from, from way back when he got to his accident and this and that. But no way, man. Are you listening, Kanye? Like, we homies, bro. We go way back, man. I got your phone number. You got mine. But this president... Come on, man. Come on, homie. Really? April Fool's, right? 
You ain't have no golf course, man. You ain't help build up the black community. You talk about it a lot, just like, what's the other guy? But at the end of the day, you're gold diggers, homie. You talk about problems, but you got no solutions. Your mouth is so big, TMZ just can't help it but listen. You actually know the TMZ address, does Trump? Like, that's on the side of desperate. Desperate people don't go to the news station and say, Hey, look at me, I'm a race from hell. You know, and, and like, no, no, sit down, sit down, man. I'd rather have Jim Carrey as president before. Uh, yo, I'm not. You should be president, bro. I, I ain't gonna stop you, man. You should really go for it and sell some more albums. Do your hustle. You know what I want? I want a free hot tub because mine broke. And I'll vote for you if you could give every American a hot tub with a lifetime warranty. I will definitely take my pills and vote for you, Conway, if you could give me a, a replacement my hot tub. If you could do that, oh, hell yeah, yo. It's much better than this. $16,000 free money that Trump giving us. Way better, man. I want a $400 inflatable hot tub. And only, you could do it. If Trump could, can provide us with $16,000, you, homie, can provide me with a $500, probably $200, because you're going to get it at a federal mass discount. And we could make it here in the United States. USA hot tubs. Yeah. If you could do that, Holby, I will buy your CD. That's all I want. I want a hot tub. I ain't want no $16,000. Fuck that. I want a $400 hot tub. If you can get me that, Kanye, I'll vote for you. But here's the problem. You won't. You won't even get close to where Trump President West that that thing don't even sound good President Trump sounds better President Biden are you serious does he even know his name next to Bernie Sanders with their long ass fingernails thumbing through the tax forms to see how we can get more money when Trump just snaps his fingers and did it Trump snapped his fingers, and the whole world's upset. Trump snapped his fingers, and the gods heard and rained down on China. Jesus heard the evils from the Chinese virus. That's why, that's why when Trump says it'll just wash away, None of us knew what that was. I thought he was talking about a documentary, but Trump is God. Trump knows what he's doing, and he can see the future. Because he says, the virus will just wash away. It'll wash away. It'll just wash through the community. Right? And then the flood started. <sighs> Trump is the second coming of Christ. I see it. it. It's right there. It's so evident. Like, how can you not see that? Just like the birds and the bees. How can you not see that when he said, oh, we'll just watch in the rains. Yo. Trump all the way. Even the last name. Trump. Unless you change your house, your name the full house. can't because you'll get sued from Fox or Netflix or whatever so 
Well, I think Trump is probably the highest card deck you could have. There's no, like, I put my cards down west. Damn, yo. And then Trump plays. Trump trumped us all. And then you got Biden. Bite it. Bite it. Bite your tongue. And shush. That's what Biden it really is. Secretly. But I believe in you, Kanye. But... I think uh, Pee Wee Herman should run, Paul Rubin should run for president, and we could get some jack-off uh, on the sidewalks, like I'm going to pull down my pants and jack off to all the sexy business ladies, I, I want to vote for that, just put a mark there with a bench, and then just a bunch of men. Horny, just gonna sit there and jerk off to all the ladies walking by. That can happen in Seattle. Hell yeah. Seattle's a no police state. Seattle is like the no mayor state. Seattle's the new. The new Colorado. Yeah. Because Colorado was always the first place to adopt something cool. And we still are. We adopt all the cool stuff. But Seattle, no police. You can tent, put a tent up and do heroin in a city park by a church and school. You could do that in Seattle. Sure, no problem. With a bunch of little syringes, you could just throw your syringe out. In Seattle, yes, you can. Seattle, Washington, USA. Seattle is the new place to try things because the city has already proven itself that it's a dirty needle. adapted the weed laws Colorado adapted <coughs> zero tolerance domestic violence <coughs> Colorado was ran by a doofus Colorado is awesome we're close to Jesus. This is a Colorado. We got no alarm. bugs up here, homie. I got a bug zapper inside, and it barely goes off. Maybe like four times a day. Zap, 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 zap. If I was living near sea level, that thing would be going off every 15 seconds. Because y'all got flies. Y'all need to sleep in mosquito nets. That's disgusting. The mosquitoes suck blood from their host, and then they fly around past your ear, and then they lay on you, and they suck. It, they're like an infected needle. There ain't no infected needles flying around way up in the mountains. All of you have been infected. Seriously, and I, I'm afraid to come down the mountain because what if I get it? I'm dying, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta go. 
COVID. I got lung. I got emphysema. <clears throat> there, I said it. You happy? I'm a diet, man. I'm a die. Not today, but. I'm probably going to die on my PC. Probably going to die alone, and you know, that doesn't affect me like you want it to affect me. You cannot make me feel bad for doing what I do. Incapable. I will continue to die in front of your eyes just like you continue to weigh 900 pounds in front of my eyes and ain't doing shit about it. So since since you decide to eat 25 Whoppers a day, I'm going to smoke this to prove to you how stupid it looks making yourself suffer. And that's part of my job here is to overdo it so you don't have to. So you know what it may look like. So when it's your turn to take it in, you're not looking like a newbie. You're not looking, you're not embarrassing your homies. Nah, I'll pass. pass. Nah, I can't, I can't, ew. You know, you, you can't even touch it, man. You'd have to go straight to confession and then tell everyone your experience that you've had with, you know, I... I smoked almost. I knew people who smoked weed, and but I couldn't do it. My mom always said it's the gateway to heroin. I uh, know, is it? Is it? No, it's not. Just people who do heroin tend to smoke weed too. I don't know where you think you need to think like that. But yeah, I I take heroin every day. How does that make you feel? How does that make you and your children feel? To know a heroin user. I'm on... I'm constantly on drugs. I'm on mind altering drugs so I flip out. I'm on mind. I'm a schedule, what is it? Dangerous thing alive. We could watch a bunch of stuff on heroin addicts. I mean, successful people who use heroin. There's got to be hundreds of videos out there. Documentaries that say you can do it. I mean, propaganda. That's the word I was looking for. Propaganda. That I was growing up with. Only exists in the creator's mind. To keep the little guy down. Problem is, I got tits. I ain't little no more. My farts. Never come out of my butthole. I am on top of the world, happy, positive. I just got, I just got cancer in my body, and I'm a die. <laughs> Probably, you know, within the next century, I I will. And <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. 
Oh, I just can't think about it. I'm so scared. I'm dying. Who's, who's else is scared? I'm dying. I can't. I can't do it. I can't die. You spend your whole life scared. Then you do content. What kind of life is that? Spend your life in fear versus being comfortable with yourself. Well, what kind of life is that, man? You got to change. You got to change my ways for me. And the only way to do that is for you to think loudly. And anything I want to do, you got to step up and say no. Because then, then I'm your surrogate, sidekick. I can now feel complete because others is in the ingredient. So the propaganda says. Have you been brainwashed? Yes or no? Yes, I have. All of us have been brainwashed, Hobie. <laughs> Come on. You, you you really can't believe that if you had parents in China right now, like if you were growing up in Alabama right now, you wouldn't be like, like I had your siblings down. Versus if you lived in California, you'd be a gangster. Versus if you lived in Seattle, you'd be a junkie. If you live in Colorado, you'd be one of the cool people. Uh, I mean, all of that, you know? If you ain't doing it, someone else is uh, doing it for you. Damn, I should, uh, I should, I should hook up a phone system here to take calls. How many of you would call the live? Uh, we could do Skype. Uh, you could call me right now. me right now, man. I'll have to get my Google voice number up. I don't have any numbers to give you. Because y'all crazy, man. Y'all psycho. And I really love my small life. I'm not about to open up to psycho vision. I got to look at psychos. I got to respond to psychos. It, I, I will become a psycho. I, that's a cool idea, Casper. But maybe you're just better off talking to yourself. Then you won't go crazy. You won't become psycho. <laughs> yeah. Having a great time here with every one of you. You have to know I'm here just like Trump is. Trump really made his purpose. I haven't made <coughs> my entrance yet into the world, but I'm just as important as Trump. Trump actually did. Trump actually likes talking to psychos. I just like talking to myself. I like talking to Google. I like talking to my remote control. I like talking. I don't like talking to you, man. Y'all ain't ask questions. Y'all be like, I, 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 me, 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 all damn day until, you know, I'm crazy now. Because my brain got filled up with propaganda. 
there are some things that are, uh, uh, once you see something, it's very hard to unsee it sometimes. Like, you buy a brand new car, you open up the car, and, like, you bought a brand new Tesla, and you open up the car door, and you see the paint's missing on the hinges. Can you unsee that? You just bought a brand new car. Can you unsee that? Yes or no? Uh, you walked in your house and your dogs were butt fucking each other with their tails up. Can you unsee that? No. No, you can't. You walk in the house and your dogs were licking each other off. Can you unsee that? You can't. You can't walk in the door and then see your dog sucking himself off. You cannot unsee that. I'm sorry. And you're just supposed to be like, oh, well, you just beat a dog. No, like that's bad behavior, and you must do that if your dog does it. <laughs> your dog learned it. really uh, put a camera on this thing. Damn, look at my setup. Oh man, I ain't know what I do. I don't know what I'm doing here at all. At all. Yo, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Seriously, how can anyone take me serious when I just don't know what I'm doing at all. At all. At all. How does it make you feel? Looking at something so spectacular how does that make you feel man noticing something so great and you're like damn Casper did it again yeah yeah man you like did it again and another day of you you jealous man Uh, did you get that? So who I was one year ago is not who I am today. I am completely different. You don't know who I am. I don't expect you to know. So I walk in as an unknown, ready to tell you who the hell I am. Tell me how does that make you feel, man? That you got nothing to say. My greatest asset is my mouth. Unlike yours, I put mine to some real good uses over the years. You know, I've been slobbering, gargling these words properly. And slide it into the next verse. Like you wouldn't believe. That you haven't seen before. Giving you guys our time, homie. 